This is a topic video for graphing a parabola of the form y equals x minus h squared plus k. To begin, it is important to recognize that problems in the form y equals x minus h squared plus k will always be a parabola. The vertex of a parabola will always be h, k. Remember that the vertex is either the lowest or highest point of a parabola. If the parabola opens upward or both ends approach positive infinity, the vertex is the lowest point. The parabola will open upward when the coefficient of the quadratic term is positive. If the parabola opens downward or both ends approach negative infinity, the vertex is the highest point. The parabola will open downward when the coefficient of the quadratic term is negative. Let's learn how to graph a function by looking at the problem y equals x minus 2 squared plus 3. From this information, we can determine that the vertex is 2, 3. Wait, why isn't the vertex negative 2, 3? Good question. This is because the general form states x minus h. This means that when h is subtracted from x, h is positive. On the other hand, if we had the function y equals x plus 1 squared minus 4, the vertex would be negative 1, negative 4, because x plus 1 is actually considered to be x minus negative 1, where negative 1 is the h. Okay, now that I can determine the vertex, what do I do next to graph the parabola? The next step is to use a table to find some other points. Once you have determined the vertex, you will need to determine two more points that lie on the left side of the vertex and two more points that lie on the right side of the vertex. This is a total of five points that you must determine before graphing when using an Alex graphing calculator. How do you choose what values to plug in for x? You can substitute any number for x, but there are certain values that will make your work easier. It is usually a good idea to substitute numbers in increments of one unit from the vertex on both sides. Then the points we graph are equidistant from the vertex, but it is up to your discretion. First, draw a table containing two columns, x and y. Again, we know that the vertex is 2, 3, so let's put that as a central point on our table. Now we need to determine the x values that we will use for the remaining four points. For the left side, let's use the x values 0 and 1. For the right side, let's use the x values 3 and 4. Now we must substitute these x values into the function that was provided to solve for the corresponding y value. First, substitute 0 for x and simplify. Then continue for the rest of the x values. Now that we have determined the values of five points on the graph, we can graph the function with the Alex calculator. Here is how you can graph an Alex. First, plot the five points. You can do this by using the pencil icon and doing it manually, or you can use the plot a point icon. I will use both to demonstrate each method. The first point is 0, 7. Using the pencil icon, I will find 0 on the x-axis and 7 on the y-axis and plot the point. Next, let's plot 1, 4, and 2, 3. Now, using the plot a point icon, we will plot the points 3, 4, and 4, 7. This tool allows you to type in the x and y values and the software will automatically plot it for you. This is best for when you have fractions or decimals. Let's type 3 and 4, then click plot point. Now, let's do the same to plot 4, 7. We now have the five points plotted. All that is left for us to do is connect them with a curve. Alex will automatically do this for you when you click the icon that shows three points connected by a curve. This is the graph of the function y equals x minus 2 squared plus 3. Now you know how to use the Alex graphing calculator to graph a function of the form y equals x minus h squared plus k.